something. <laughs> Andy, what the, what the hell was that? What? You just spit on my floor. Jeez, oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was at home. You mean you spit on the floor at home? Sure, everybody does. You know, when they're all alone. Nobody spits on the floor! Get out of here! What is wrong with Get out of my house right now! Oh, excuse me. I didn't realize I was at the Ritz. What the hell was that? Uh, I'm sorry, honey. I, I thought it was at Andy's house. <laughs> Mm, this looks good. Oh, you kids are doing such a great job on that tree. Oh. Grandma is going to love it. Really? When did Mom start liking things that suck? <laughs> Can we put my SpongeBob toy on top? Look, I can't put my Mike Ditka bubble head up there. You can't put your SpongeBob on. No. no, honey, you know that Grandma's special angel always goes on top? Grandma gave this to me and Daddy on our wedding day. Yeah. And I got a two-hour lecture about putting my husband first. Yes, wise words from a wise woman, Cheryl. Uh, I'm about to get four days of Mom's wisdom about every single thing I do. Is that why you doubled up the booze and eggnog? Yeah. And when Mom gets here, I bump it up to triple. Ah, ah why wait? <gasps> Grandma gonna be here? Oh, honey, she'll be here any minute. Uncle Ryan and Aunt Dana went to pick her up at the airport. Don't you usually pick her up every year? Yeah, for the last 15 years, but Ryan called today, said he wanted to do it. I'm gonna miss my annual trip to the nudie bar, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, Mom was starting to complain about that anyway. <laughs> so Ryan volunteered, huh? Interesting. No, not really. <laughs> Oh, sweet young James. <laughs> like an innocent doe, damp with the morning dew. What? Don't you get it, man? He's after your title. He wants to be the number one son. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why ain't the new guy, that's all? He's supposed to suck up to his mother-in-law. And I don't blame him. You know what? Maggie is the greatest. Hey, that's what I thought when I was number one. But then you came along and all of a sudden, Andy isn't a baby face. He's got a weight problem. <laughs> Look at Ryan can't touch me anyway. I'm the king, and this is my throne. I thought the upstairs toilet was your throne. <laughs> I'm the king. I can have two thrones. <laughs> Ryan, that is the funniest story about menopause I've ever heard. Uh, <laughs> How are you, Maggie? Oh, fine, honey. Hey, Mom, how was your flight? Oh, wonderful. Ryan surprised me with a first-class upgrade. Yeah. Oh. We were going to use the miles for Europe, but it's Mom. <laughs> That's right, and no mother-in-law of mine is going to pay for headphones. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> What's that sound, Jim? Footsteps. <laughs> hey, Jim, honey, why don't you grab Mom's bags and put them up in Kyle's room? Yeah, yeah, good idea. <laughs> Wait a minute. Kyle's room? Yeah, the kids all bunk in the girls' room. They love it. It's like camping. I get to sleep in the closet. <laughs> Hold on one second there, Jimmy. I mean, this is silly. We have an extra bedroom. Yeah, for the bed that's not a race car. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be imposing? Oh, not at all. You should uh -huh. definitely stay yeah. with us. <laughs> well, I'll drink to that. <laughs> I mean, if, if that works for you, Mom. Maggie, you always stay with us. Hmm. Seems something's changed. <laughs> hey, Jim, I'll just put these bags back in the car. Uh, I got it. I got, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got it. Oh! Got a piece of the old Yule log. And such a mouth. Maggie, Maggie, you, you sure you don't want to go? I mean, aren't you going to miss the kids? Oh, honey, I can just tuck them in and be back here first thing each morning. Now, who knows where I can get a Christmas cookie? We do! Kyle really sleeps in the closet? Yeah, in an old suitcase. He loves it. How's that view from your throne, King James? You're right. Can't believe it. 
I should have never let him go to the airport and pick her up. Now he's trying to steal her away. And I don't get to go to the nudie bar. <laughs> we can go right now if you want. Uh, it's not the same without your mom. <laughs> Ryan is not after your title. You don't even have a title. Watch it, Cheryl. Watch it. If I don't have a title, that means you don't have a title. I don't have a title. Well, as king of this family, I can give you a title. I dub the Queen Cheryl, first babe of the realm, and the caretaker of the family jewels. <laughs> you now have a title. Thank you. I'm thrilled with it. <laughs> Look, honey, I, for one, am thrilled she's not here to nitpick me. Besides, there is more than enough of my mother for you and Ryan to share. Share? Yes. He doesn't want to share. Oh, oh, look at me. I can get you a first-class upgrade. Oh, we got bedrooms at our house. Oh, we pay for heat at our house. <laughs> Cheryl, you know what? When we take Maggie out for Stevie B's ribs and chicken, I've got to shine! <laughs> Well, you might want to start by zipping up your fly. <laughs> Kim, it's Christmas. This is not the time to be petty and competitive. Well, then how come Donner tried to screw Nixon out of his spot in the reindeer games? Why reindeer games? They were competing for the same spot. Didn't you? Well, if it isn't Fred and Ethel. As soon as the stars of the show get here, we can go to dinner. <laughs> Could you stop stirring him up? And why are you including me? Come on, sis, wake up. You think that pretty boy Ryan came up with this? This has the stink of Dana all over it. Dana! Of course she wants a piece of this. They're trying to take your role as premier couple of the family. <laughs> premier couple? What does that even mean? It means we're number one. What does that mean? It means they're Canada and we're America. Hey! Hey! hey. Yeah, talk about donning gay apparel. <laughs> Mom found out Ryan's a member at Oakcrest Country Club. And I've always wanted to go to their holiday party. Yeah, so Ryan called and he was able to get reservations for all of us. Oh. <laughs> oh. Funny you didn't call to check with us. Well, if you guys want to go to Stevie B's, we'll just take Maggie to the club ourselves. Yeah. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Something, something land. We can be dressed in two minutes. Great. Andy, let's go over to your house and pick you out a nice suit. Oh, Mom, I, I can pick out my own suit. What are you hiding? No, Mom, wait. Mom, don't look under the bed. Those tapes came with the house. Oh, hell to the no. We know what you're trying to do. Yeah. her we've got her and she's not coming back you've been the big dog around here for way too long hey watch it pal that big dog is my wife okay are, are you seriously trying to compete with us for mom's attention you're damn right we are i've been number two my whole life now get in the back seat with andy I think you kids know who you're messing with here. Excuse me, Jim, but are you getting all up in our Kool-Aid? <laughs> oh, yeah! You two better be ready to bring it. Oh, it'll be brought. Right, Ryan? Oh, yeah, with a heavy hand. <laughs> Bam! You two don't stand a chance. We're younger, sexier, and we drive a cooler car. <gasps> One more time, honey. Bam! Bam! <laughs> You watch it. You have a rouse for Ralph for the King. I don't know. Are you sure this isn't too much? Honey, this is war. And in war, you bring out the big guns. <laughs> The show is about to begin. Oh, a show? I didn't know there was a show. Really? Then who moved the couch? Perhaps. Twas a Christmas miracle. 
It's starting. We now present A Christmas Without Grandma. A Christmas Without Grandma? Why, that's no Christmas at all. <laughs> Maestro, if you will. Tonight, Ruby Scrooge, you will be visited by three grandmothers. <laughs> Tell them not to bother. I already have one. The best grandma in the whole world. <laughs> Don't you just stick your hand up her butt and work her like a puppet? <laughs> Why don't you just shove it? <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? I should spend the rest of my trip right here with these precious grandchildren of mine. Mm -hmm. oh, Mom, I think that's a great idea, because, you know, our little tykes will only be young for a short while, and you have years to be with Dana and Ryan in their cold, childless home. <laughs> Okay, and it's settled. I am staying here. Yay! <laughs> hey, Ryan. Yeah. Bam! <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, 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 hey, 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 hold on a second now. I've been practicing Silent Night for six hours. You people are going to sit down and listen to me play. <laughs> sit. carving job. Had that pig known what was in store for him, he would have gladly given up his life. <laughs> Thank you, young Andy. Thank you. But I'm sure Dr. Ryan is pretty good with a knife, too. Although we'll never get a chance to see it. Well, I could come over and give you a vasectomy in your sleep. Uh, give it up, Ryan. We're just not as selfish and twisted as uh, Cheryl and Jim. That's right. And let that be a lesson to the both of you. Okay. Kids all tucked in? Sure did. And watching little Kyle all curled up in that suitcase. Oh, just precious. I'm so glad I'm here for this. Aww. You know what, Maggie? We're glad you're here, too. Everybody grab a drink. Oh. I'd like to make a toast to Maggie. Oh, none for me. Thanks, Mom. What's wrong? Oh. Yeah, what's wrong, Dana? Don't you love your mother? <laughs> I mean, should we tell him? I mean... I, I, don't, I don't think this is the right time. <gasps> oh, my God. You're pregnant. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, get ready for a fourth grandchild. <laughs> right over here. <laughs> Move over, Fred and Ethel. Make room for little Ricky. <laughs> Honey, this is just wonderful news. Yeah, we thought you'd be excited, you know, since Jim and Cheryl are done having kids. Yeah. <laughs> Pregnant? Cheryl Mabel. But look, she's lying. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're just saying that to get attention. How can you say something like that? How dare you, Cheryl? I have life inside of me. <laughs> Prove it. Prove you're pregnant. Cheryl, what if... What Prove if you... it! <laughs> Fine, if it'll make you shut up. Here, here. Read the double pink lines. Is that pregnant enough for you? <laughs> Hello, 
Look, that's just her hormones talking, all right? Not all you guys yelling at her and calling her a liar. On Christmas Eve. <laughs> means yes. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Yes, you heartless, wicked witch. I know, I know. Jim got me all worked up about being the premier couple. You know, I'm starting to think you were right about him all along. Cheryl? Yeah. Cheryl, did you already apologize to your sister? I did. I just hope she can forgive me. I don't know. It's going to take some time. I know. Well, maybe you would feel better if I help you pick out some names. Like, if it's a girl, how about Lucy? For Lucy, you got some explaining to do! <laughs> you get your scarf and your mittens, you meet me out back, we're gonna sell this like men. Oh, yeah, Lucy, Ricky? What's this? I found this in the bathroom, on the floor. Here's your baby. Drew the pink lines? How do you even know that pen is mine? From the office of Dr. Ryan Gibson, Happy Holidays. <laughs> Cheryl, care to join me? I would love to. Bam, bam, bam! <laughs> Cheryl, now if you'll join me, let's go tell your mother. Yes. Well, look, Jim, before you go, you should check your watch. Why? Because it is go time. <gasps> Boy, that's Cheryl. Not believing her own sister. You know, Pops? Kind of glad you weren't here to see that. What is going on in there? A oh, little roughhouse. And that Danny, stealing the spotlight from baby Jesus. Well, at least you got one good one left, Mom. Mommy! Oh. Mommy! Oh. Maggie! Huh? Maggie! Wake up! Dina's not pregnant. There you go. You're going to be fine. Oh, thank you, Ryan. Oh. Thank goodness we have a doctor in the family, huh, Mom? Oh, yes. What are you talking about? It's my first aid kit. Yeah. You're the one that opened You the didn't have eyes of eyes. Just stop it. Stop. It. stop. Oh. Lord, competing for my affection? Christmas. Is a time when you are supposed to think about other people and all you are doing is thinking about yourselves. I am ashamed of you. But not me, right, Mom? <laughs> yes, Sandy, you're my good boy. Yes! Booyah! <laughs> Although, we're going to have a long talk about that filthy magazine I found in your bathroom. It's anime. God. <laughs> you know, Maggie, you're right. You're right. We, we, we've been acting very, very selfishly. Yeah. We acted crazy, and we're sorry. Yeah, the truth is, Maggie, that Cheryl and I have had you for the last 15 years, and it's time to share you with someone else. It's time for you to have a chance. You know, that's hard for me to say because, you know, I grew up without a father, and I don't have the greatest relationship with my own mother. But I do with you. You know, not every family gets to have someone like you. Someone who you don't fight with, but you're willing to fight for. You know? What are you doing? Cheryl, it's only fair. What? You a Christmas angel? Well, Mom, when you gave this to us, it really made me feel part of this family. And, Ryan, I, I think you should feel the same way. Wow, Jim, I really don't know what to say. How about, uh, Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Right over here. Jim. That was beautiful. Oh, thank you, Maggie. Now, that's the kind of love you want to be around during the holidays. And the only gift I ever want at Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You too, Scott. Wow. Late. 
Well, you must be exhausted. Uh, I am, but with all the fighting, I've lost track of where I'm staying. <laughs> well, Mom, that's up to you. Uh, Ryan, do you have pain pills? Of course. I'm staying with them. Great. <laughs> okay, good night. Good night. Good night. I'll be back first thing in the morning, see if the kids open their presents. All okay. right, love you. Love you, too. Wow, buddy, that was a great speech. Got me right in the old ticker. Damn it! <laughs> I thought the angel thing was going to work for sure. I thought I had her. That was the greatest performance of my life. Jim, you didn't mean what you said? Of course I meant it. I was just not going to say it to anybody. I wanted to win. All right, all right. We got Easter. Oh. We got to win Madden back at Easter. Okay, start thinking. Start giving me some thinking music. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hey, the colored hay. We're going to need lots of that. And bunnies. Lots of little bunnies. Jim. And chocolate. You're right. Not big enough. How about a Jim, that was a masterful carving job. Had that pig known what was in store for him, he would have gladly given up his life. <laughs> Thank you, young Andy. Thank you. But I'm sure Dr. Ryan is pretty good with a knife, too. Although we'll never get a chance to see it. Well, I could come over and give you a vasectomy in your sleep. Uh, give it up, Ryan. We're just not as selfish and twisted as uh, Cheryl and Jim. That's right. And let that be a lesson to the both of you. Okay, it's really strong eggnog time. <laughs> hey, Mom. Get the kids all tucked in? Sure did. And watching little Kyle all curled up in that suitcase. Oh, just precious. I'm so glad I'm here for this. Aww. You know what, Maggie? We're glad you're here, too. Everybody grab a drink. Oh. I'd like to make a toast to Maggie. Oh, none for me. Thanks, Mom. What's wrong? Oh. Yeah, what's wrong, Dana? Don't you love your mother? <laughs> sure this isn't too much? Honey, this is war. And in war, you bring out the big guns. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the show is about to begin. Oh, a show? I didn't know there was a show. <laughs> really? Then who moved the couch? Perhaps t'was a Christmas miracle. Uh, <laughs> it's starting. We now present a Christmas without Grandma. A Christmas without Grandma? Why, that's no Christmas at all. <laughs> Maestro, if you will. Why don't you just stick your hand up her butt and work her like a puppet? Why don't you just shove it? <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? I should spend the rest of my trip right here with these precious grandchildren of mine. Oh, oh, Mom, I think that's a great idea. Because, you know, our little tykes will only be young for a short while. And you have years to be with Dana and Ryan in their cold, childless home. <laughs> Okay, and it's settled. I am staying here. Yay! <laughs> hey, Ryan. Yeah. Bam! <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on a second now. I've been practicing Silent Night for six hours. You people are going to sit down and listen to me play. <laughs> sit down! <laughs> Jim, that was a masterful carving job. Had that pig known what was in store for him, he would have gladly given up his life. <laughs> Thank you, young Andy. Thank you. But I'm sure Dr. Ryan is pretty good with a knife, too. Although we'll never get a chance to see it. Well, I could come over and give you a vasectomy in your sleep. Uh, give it up, Ryan. We're just not as 
selfish and twisted as uh, Cheryl and Jim. That's right. And let that be a lesson to the both of you. <laughs> okay, it's really strong eggnog time. <laughs> hey, Mom, get the kids all tucked in? Sure did. And watching little Kyle all curled up in that suitcase. Oh, just precious. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm here for this. Aww. You know what, Maggie? We're glad you're here, too. Everybody grab a drink. I'd like to make a toast to Maggie. Oh, none for me. Thanks, Mom. What's wrong? Oh. Yeah, what's wrong, Dan? 